The Plasmer C2010 is an air decontamination sealing unit, a tool for controlling air quality and for combating nosocomial infections. It draws room air in, processes it and then expels the clean air back into the room. The C2010 can be fitted to a hanging ceiling or, as in this example, a concrete ceiling. The C2010 unit is delivered fully assembled. To install it, you'll need a 13mm flat spanner and a 6mm hexagonal Allen key. Before the unit can be installed, its plastic cover, reactor modules and ventilator must be dismantled. The device's plastic base can then be mounted onto its support plate. Use the 6mm hexagonal Allen key to undo the final reactor module. Use a Phillips screwdriver to unscrew the base from the casing. Mounting the main base. The base contains four keyhole shaped holes for positioning and fixing the unit. Position the base beneath the plate so that the heads of the bolts on the plate are in line with the holes in the base. Turn the base counterclockwise until the bolts are blocked at the narrow end of the keyholes. Use a 13mm spanner to tighten the nuts. Cover the four nuts with cover caps. Installing the ventilator. Pick the ventilator up with one hand, holding it by the centrally positioned motor. Connect the connector to the base. Position the ventilator on the two bolts in the base. Add the other two nuts, then tighten all four bolts. Installing the reactor modules. The reactor modules are fitted with quick fit systems. First of all, take a look at how the parts fit together. Use the high voltage connector on the module as your reference point. It must enter into contact with the other connector located on the base. Once the module is in position on the base, tighten the two safety bolts with a 6mm hexagonal Allen key. Installing the second stage module. Use both hands to lift up the module and clip it onto the base. Beforehand, note how the parts fit together. Use the double socket built into the module's output grid as a reference point. Installing the third stage module. Use both hands to pick up each quarter of the module and clip it onto the base. Beforehand, note how the parts fit together. Use the mounting studs as your reference points. Complete this operation for all four parts in the third layer. Installing the fourth stage module. Use both hands to pick up each quarter of the module and clip it onto the base. A narrow channel around the cover fits easily onto the base. Close the cover and fix the safety chain. Switching on the device. Ensure that the Plasma C2010 is connected to the electrical supply. When the Plasma C2010 is switched on, the handle on the cover locks for safety reasons and the piloting program is loaded. This launch sequence can last 5 to 10 seconds. Select the appropriate ventilation speed using the remote control or the speed button on the panel. When the green light comes on, the Plasma C2010 is working properly. The Plasma C2010 is fitted with five light strips on its underside. The lights can be switched on either using the remote control or by pressing the button on the panel. List of warnings and action to be taken. C. 
Warning, weak current to module in layer 1. E. Warning, low voltage. 6. Replace module in layer 1. H. Replace module in layer 2. I. Replace modules in layer 3. I. Replace module in layer 4. Replacing the fuses. Switch the Plasma C2010 off at the on-off switch. Unplug the device from the electrical supply. Pull the fuse drawer open to access the F1 fuses. To access internal parts for the purpose of carrying out maintenance, wait approximately one minute for the handle that opens the safety cover to unlock. Then, undo the safety chain. Upkeep. Bio-cleaning. Equipment. A telescopic arm with a window moistener and a disinfectant that is bactericide, fungicide and virucidal. Routine bio-cleaning. Parts routinely to be cleaned are the outside of the plastic cover and the ventilation grids. Make sure cloths do not tar off, otherwise fibers may clog the air inlets. Annual bio-cleaning. Parts to be cleaned annually are the outside of the plastic cover and the control panel. Internal parts are to be disinfected. Clean the inside surface of the plastic cover and the air inlets. Remove reactor modules 2 to 4 and clean the outer casing of the reactor modules. Clean the blades of the central ventilator, accessing the ventilator from below. Warning. Be careful not to cut yourself on the edges of the ventilator blades. Leave the cover off for a few minutes to allow the different elements to dry. 